today because this is the time of year when I get phone calls about trying to kill unwanted vegetation like sweet gums. Hi, I'm Jeff Cook. I'm the Ag and Natural Resources Agent for the University of Georgia. And we're here today because I get a lot of phone calls this time of year with people wanting to try and kill unwanted vegetation like this, sweet gums. The reason for this is obvious. I mean, it's the same reason I want to go out and kill sweet gums in my, on my own property. You know, you see it, it greens up, it looks nice and lush, and you know you don't want it. Uh, so people want to go out there and try and control it at this time. Um, we're gonna talk about why this is really not the best time of year to try and do this. Um, these, these trees right here, um, this whole area behind me was burned, has been burned now two uh, marches in a row. So it was burned in the springtime twice, had real hot fire come through it. You can tell um, t two years worth of growth, you have dead sweet gum. So the March, the March burn did kill the tree that was there, but obviously it was not hot enough um, to, kill the, to kill the root system, right? So obviously it, sp it sprouts back up this time of year. People want to come out here and spray it. Uh, there are products you can spray that you can put on it right now. It's going to knock this whole top back down to the ground. You know, you're going to be happy after about three, four weeks, and you're going to come back in about a month or two, uh, three months, uh, end of the year, and you're going to be right back about right here um, again because it's going to sprout back out. The reason for this is right now, all the energy from that root, every year trees grow, and at the end of the year, they put energy into the roots, energy into the stems. That's what pushes that what pushes growth for the next year. So as this thing is pushing up, and you put an you put a herbicide on it, that herbicide is not able to get from here down into the roots, so you don't get a really good kill. That's the reason we recommend that we go out, come out here, leave this alone for now. Um, if it gets too tall, you, it might be a good idea to cut it down a little bit so you can get good spray coverage on it with whatever sprayer you have. But we recommend you come out here in August, anywhere from August to October. When this tree, before the leaves really start trying to change, um, hit it with a, a mixture of, there's a bunch of different things. You can use a Roundup if you're not worried about anything else, but I would always add something like a triclopyr. Um, if you're not worried about your other vegetation, um, you know, you can also use uh, a mazapir in there. That makes it a little bit hotter, uh, but you gotta be a little careful. You know, you can kill uh, hardwood trees. If you don't believe me, you can ask my buddy named Billy. Um, he did that. Um, so uh, anyway, that's, that's why we recommend it at that time of year. Um, this was burnt this year um, and not sprayed yet. So as you go over here, this is a area that has been burnt. This was burned is regrowing again. And this, if you come just one, one step over, this is where the sprayer came last fall, last end of summer, August. You got a sweet gum here, re-sprouting after being burned twice. And you got the remnants of a sweet gum here. It's broken over now, nothing re-sprouting from the base. Um, and if you kind of pan that way, you can see there's other sweet gums out here that were burned and sprayed, sprayed in late summer, and they are stone cold dead. So that's why we recommend the applications at that time. Um, I tell people all the time, you know, yes, you can spray now and it will slow it down. You know, it will make it a smaller, a smaller tree to spray in the, um, in the late summer. But if you really want to get a sure enough, a sure enough kill on that tree, um, you need to do it in the late summer. So like I said, August to October, and that goes for all of your bigger trees and things that you're trying to kill, any of your vines, kudzus, wisterias, um, even bamboo. We recommend a late summer application as that plant is taking the energy that it's produced that year. It's taking it and trying to put it down in the storage structures. That's the time of year to spray. That's the time of year you're going to get a really good cover, kill. Um, and you're going that way you don't you're not wasting time and you're not wasting money. So if you're interested in trying to you know figure out what you might want to put out for you know uh, undesired vegetation on your property, um, you can like I said you can contact a county agent who has access to a to a product, um, pest management guide, but you can also look up uh, invasive species control on the University of Georgia website. Um, it has a it has spray suggestions and uh, comments for all the different invasive species and really just the species that people don't really want on their property. Um, gives you timing of application and gives you the actual chemicals that are best used to control those and we'll put that link on the screen so you can you can click on that and find it pretty easy